Serious crime is down dramatically in Fayetteville. New data shows homicides, rapes and aggravated assaults are all down. That's the good news, but it's not the whole picture. Officials are concerned with an increase in car thefts. And as the city's police chief told Gilbert Bays, one homicide is too many. Last year, Fayetteville broke a record for the number of homicides in a year. But last night, the Fayetteville Police Chief reported to City Council that so far this year, homicides are down by 57 percent. Police Chief Kim Braden says the numbers show Fayetteville is trending in the right direction when it comes to violent crimes. For the second quarter of this year, homicides are down by more than 57 percent in comparison to the same time last year. Rape and aggravated assault are also down. While the numbers trend in the right direction, the chief is focusing on making arrests in cases that are unsolved, like the heartbreaking case of seven-year-old Zion Gibbs. He was shot while playing video games in his home by a stray bullet from a drive-by shooting. So I try to give that encouragement of, yes, we are going to do everything possible, you know, and, and no, leave no stone unturned as we investigate these crimes. But some numbers, like those for larceny and motor vehicle theft, are on the rise. Braden says the public can help bring those numbers down. So when I look at these motor vehicle thefts, I really need our community to step up, lock their doors, remove their valuables, and, and, and truly learn how not to be a victim of crimes such as motor vehicle theft. Now the chief knows that those numbers are just for the second quarter. He has two more quarters to go, but he's hopeful in December that report will be just as good. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, WRL News. And Chief Braden's report also shows that so far this year, domestic aggravated assaults, overdoses, and suicides are also down.